welcome to our channel at Stake Chemistry. I am Dr. Hosula. So today we are going to discuss the relationship between P2 and P4 system. Now if a question is given in your question paper that prove whether P2 system is equal to P4 or not. As we know that for P shell the L value is 1 so the orientation will be plus 1 0 and minus 1. Okay, as we can place the four electrons like we have done with P2 system, here we can also put the four electrons in these three degenerate orbitals. But instead of performing, as you can say, derived term samples for P4 system, which is quite a tedious job, a complicated one. We use the phenomena of hole formulation. Okay, what actually this phenomena tell us? It says that to find term symbol for those systems which are more than half filled, As I have told you that it will be quite a tedious job to perform or to draw or you can say to arrange electron in pigeon hole diagram for the P4 system you can just use the P2 system. Why? Because P2 system is equivalent to P4. How? Now here you can see that there are two electrons, okay, and here is two holes. I mean two electrons are equivalent to two holes. This is called a hole formulation phenomenon. These two systems are equivalent in terms of electrons and holes. So we can say that the number of unoccupied sites or holes to be equivalent to the number of uh, electrons. Now you can just perform a derivative symbol for P2 system instead for P4 system because both systems are equivalent to each other. Okay, so to avoid this confusion, we will use pigeonhole diagram for a P2 system. The only difference in the term symbol are in the ground state. How? We know that for P2 system, the term symbol will be singlet D2, triplet P2, triplet P1, triplet P0, singlet S0. And for P4 system, the same term symbols can be derived. We achieve the same term symbol as we have achieved, or you can say derived for P2 system. Okay, what is the difference? The difference is in the ground state. Here in P2 system, the ground state is a triplet P0. And in case of P4 system, the ground state is a triplet P2. According to Horn's rule, if a subshell is more than half filled, then you will have to choose a term with high spin multiplicity, higher L value, and higher J value. And for a term which is for a system which is less than half filled, 
you will choose that ground that some symbol the ground state having highest multiplicity higher l value and lower j value so here the only difference is in the j value so it means that for p2 system and p4 system the term symbols are equivalent the same one but only the difference is in the ground state now if someone gave you an assignment the derived term symbol for p4 system don't go for p4 system just go for p2 system because p2 system is equivalent to p4 system we have also previously calculated or derived term symbol for p2 system and our lecture number 13 part of first but here we can also just show you how many term symbols are possible for a p2 system we are just revising our previous lecture over here okay now the total term symbols are singlet d2 triplet p2 triplet p1 triplet p0 singlet s0 now as we have already mentioned that this system means p4 system is more than a half filled so the ground system state will be or you can see the ground state term symbol will be triplet p2 thank you very much please subscribe share and like our channel for more useful videos